What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. My name is Tristan Mortlock. This is Captain of the Vlog. We are currently berthed in Monaco. We're between two yachts, a sailing yacht on our starboard side and a motor yacht on our port side. And straight in front of us, we've got another motor yacht. And it's very tight and we're about to depart and we're gonna drop the guests off at Nice Airport and then continue our route to Antibes. Copy on our route to Antibes, but I just want to show you how we get out a very tight space and uh, with good communication with the deck team, we've got the dock masters on their river to assist us. I've asked the sailing vessel on our starboard side to drop their port side ground line and the vessel opposite is also dropping their ground line. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. So stern lines have now been released. Uh, Barbara has dropped the, both the port and starboard bow line. This is our starboard side. You can see how close we are to this beautiful classic sailing vessel. Um, so what we're happening, what's happening here is the deck team are just monitoring the fenders. I've got uh, David, the chase boat captain, also um, on a GoPro here. So he's taking this video. And uh, coming out nice and slow, good communication. We got about, we were having on the um, gauge about 15 knots of wind right on the nose, so a little bit tricky. You can see the deck hand, the vessel on our starboard side is loosening his port ground line so we didn't get it caught around our stabilizers or the props or rudders. And uh, you can see me there on the starboard side bridge wing monitoring the vessel ahead of us and the vessel on the starboard side. I have uh, Jason, the deckhand, he's giving the information to stern and the vessel on port side. You can see we're getting quite nice and close here to this vessel just off our port bow. I've got Barbara then monitoring, giving me distances. This gentleman is the dock master. He's monitoring the ground line with our stabilizers. You can see um, the stabilizers there with the arrows, with the white painted arrows. So we get very, very close here. Uh, the guys give me constant communications. So I need to find the right balance between the bow and the, and the starboard side as well, just to come out nice and smooth. Um, all the fenders are obviously in place. You can see the ground lines on, on this um, vessel of our poor bow are coming out quite a distance, so we've got to monitor that as well. The captain was on board, he was on standby to drop the lines if required. He did um, tie a line, a black line you can see off his port bow to the dock to pull his vessel more to port, his bow more to port to give me more space to maneuver. So good comms with the, the dock master and with the, the deck team. Uh, call calm and collected, just monitoring everything, you know, engage, try to engage gear very little. There's Chef James helping out on deck. Here's um, Jason, he's monitoring the port quarter with the ground line of that vessel. You can see another ground line there. So you can see it's very, very tight and, uh, you know, no room for error. Um, you know, this kind of maneuver comes with years and years of experience and trust in your crew, you know, because I can't see any of this. So I need uh, Jason to be feeding me constant information about distances to ground lines, to docks, to other vessels. And now I'll start uh, swinging the nose round using the bow thruster. And then you'll see once the nose comes around, so I'll, I'll pinch the wind on my port bow and the wind will then start pushing the bow around uh, to help clear it. This gentleman, you can see, he's loosened his ground line on the starboard side, just to give us a bit more space. The gentleman on this boat on our port side, coming around nice and slow. But you can see, Barb, we might be able to see, but Barb is pointing the direction of the ground line. We cleared now the um, ground lines of the vessels that were originally on the starboard and port side. Jason seems pretty happy there. Continue to monitor, and then we're pretty much getting uh, nice and clear now. Uh, we still running the risk of the other ground lines of the vessel now on our port side. So we want to bring the bow around a little bit more and make sure we're all clear. Continue communication. And then once we're, the vessel's lined up and uh, we're out, we'll start making our way outside the port. Um, the important thing really here is not to panic, stay very cool, very calm. And my policy is if you are going to hit something and hit another boat or a dock, you rather do it at a slow speed rather than panic and use the throttles and accelerate forward and aft and just put a neutral, fenders are there, if you're gonna knock something, you're gonna knock it, you know. Rather than that, then get your lines caught around the props, around the, the, the stabilizers, you know, it's just, um, it's all about risk assessment and using your experience and your knowledge at, at the time. 
And so here now we've cleared the berth. We're making our way outside uh, the Monaco Yacht Club. So this basin belongs to the Monaco Yacht Club. Straight ahead, you see a cruise ship off the, the starboard bow, that big super yacht there. I believe it looks like Christina O, which is a very famous super yacht. And then we'll continue this video and uh, all the way, all the way out to port, uh, so you guys can see. So I hope you enjoyed uh, that little maneuver. And uh, I know I enjoyed it. I always do enjoy the challenge. And it's good practice uh, for the communication on the team. And it's basically a team effort. It was teamwork. So it was a task for all of us. And uh, it's a nice feeling when you do it successfully and you get out safely. And it's, uh, it's a bit of a rush, to be honest with you. All right, I'll leave this with you guys to enjoy the exit out of Monaco and uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was very tight. You can see we're all very cool, calm, collected, very good communication. That is that is the key. Nice and slow. Um, as you may see in the video, the stabilizers got them within, I reckon, 30, 40 centimeters of the ground line on uh, vessel on starboard side. But uh, with good communication and patience and calmness, we managed to get out safely. And uh, we dropped the guests off now in Nice. We're now tied up in on Teep. And, uh, We've got a 48 hour turnaround, really pick up, uh, pick up our next guests and they'll be on board for 10 days. We'll be doing four days, first four days in the south of France, then doing a crossing over to Corsica. We'll go around the, down the west coast of Corsica, around the south coast, up the east coast to the island of Elba where Napoleon was in prison. From there, we're gonna cross over to Portofino where we will drop the guests off. So as always guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video. It gives you an insight of the kind of ship handlings that kind of like the yachties, yacht captains like myself have to do in very tight quarters. And um, don't forget to click that like button. And if you haven't done already, please do subscribe to the channel because it really does help. And I look forward to seeing you guys next video.